Hey, it's John here. We're going to document a little more about my uh, engine swap here. Uh, I got the old engine transmission out. Uh, I managed to pull them in one piece despite being on gravel here, which uh, wasn't exactly easy, but since the radiator support shot, it did help a bit. Uh, what I got here is a 2004 Granger four wheel drive. It had the 4 liter in it, but the motor was getting tired and the transmission died. So, we work on cleaning things up here. Got a little bit of work. I just made some brake lines. And get them in here in a minute. I still got to get this one off and replace it. Uh, Going to be replacing the ABS module as well. Uh, and there's going to be some other work in here. Uh, I want to replace the axle, try to get a uh, different gear ratio, get a little more fuel economy, hopefully, maybe, which is uh, definitely a laughing matter. Um, the old radiator support, as you can see, it was all rusted out. Uh, so I get that out already. For the most part, I still got to clean up these little pieces. I got a brand new radiator support waiting to go in, and we're working on getting a motor in because I have a donor over here. Which is a little bit bigger than the four liter that was in mine. So, we're going to get this 5 liter pulled. It's going in engine transmission, all wheel drive transfer case. Um, running into a little bit of an issue here because this is an older one. My fuel system's not going to made up. But I did get fuel rail and injectors. Uh, you can see the fuel rail here for the returnless system. Uh, I also, I don't know if it's going to go into this project, but I have an electric power steering pump sitting here. Mm. So we may go to electric power steering in the Ranger, free up an accessory off this motor. I am going to keep air conditioning because I can, <laughs> and it's nice, but I'm going to provide a cutoff switch to make sure the air conditioner doesn't kick on when I don't want it to. And uh, we're going to try an e-fan and some other goodies when we put it in the Ranger. So that's where we're at with this. I'm uh, going to keep chipping away out here. Uh, the transfer case in the Explorer, that's an all-wheel drive transfer case, which will make this a full-time all-wheel drive Ranger with a 302. I'm going to do custom dual exhaust so it'll be something nice. I did a very similar swap with a Ranger for my dad however uh, somebody ran a red light and clobbered me and destroyed the truck. Uh, so I'm going to try to do it again here, do it a little bit differently. Uh, you can see I've already done some modifications to this truck. i got zero gauge welding cable for my power cables. Uh, whenever I replace battery cables, I've gone to welding cable. It's a lot more flexible, a lot more high current. Uh, and of course, I use it for doing things like building stereos uh, or just generally rewiring. I've rewired a couple vehicles. I did that to my F-150, which is a, I've used for plowing with the upgraded alternator. That worked out really well using the welding cables and the upgraded alternator. It doesn't dim my lights when I run the plow. So... I mean, there's some advantages to it. 
Uh, but I think that's about all for now. We'll update as things progress here. I'd like to try to do a few little sidebars of different modifications as I go along, or repairs, things like replacing the radiator support. Uh, I get to put in the new one in. Uh, as you can see, what I did was drilled out the spot welds. There's quite a few of them. These three on top, the four there, there was a couple there, a row of them there. There's still a couple hidden across here. And on this side, there's a couple in here. You can see them there, there, there. Those uh, hold the battery tray. And of course, a couple over here. So it, it's a little bit of a pain. I use the Blair spot weld cutter. I've taken, I'll take a center punch. No pointed punch and I'll center punch them to try to keep the spot weld cutter from walking and of course you want to use some lubricant like drilling or tap and dye or even just plain oil if you don't have the proper lubricants or else it'll just destroy those cutters quickly um, that goes for all those kinds of things but uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted as things progress here.